Pretty colors. I should wash my fingers before I like smear it all over my face because I will do that. This is this the oh, hey everybody, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to finally do a review on the Melt Gunmetal Stat. Um, I have had this for a couple weeks now and I love it. But before we get into the review, hit that subscribe button so that you can join the Apocalypse family and have more fun. Now it's review time. So this is currently what I have on my eyes right now and I just I really love it. So I actually have not had anything from Oops. anything from Melt um, before and when I bought this stack I also bought the Rust stack so this was my first time trying out the Melt eyeshadows and I love them they're really really good and not horribly priced for the size of pans that you get so this stack is a four pan stack and then of course it has the mirror on it. These are all metallic and one matte. Um, the price of this palette is, let me check here, $48. So for $48 four pans, you're essentially paying $12 a pan, which is not bad um, considering that you pay $17 if you were to buy them individually. So I think you are getting your money's worth with this stack. You can use them dry or you can actually use them wet to get that really like metal look to them. Um, I have yet to use them completely wet. I actually stick them on top of like a sticky base and they work really well. Not too much glitter fallout if you press it onto the lids, but I have gotten a little bit of fallout if I try to fluff it. Um, pretty standard when it comes to super glittery shadows like this one. Now the matte that's in here is this beautiful like taupey gray shade so it goes great with this stack but it also is a nice neutral shade that you can use with other eyeshadows other individuals other palettes um, anything so I do like that they included this shadow in there so on to the colors themselves um, we have the lightest shade which is harsh stone white and it's a nice metallic champagne white color there is the petal petal there is the palette's namesake this is gunmetal which is a nice blue bla blue based black that's a mouthful and then there is industrial which is kind of a taupey brown black and lastly, Assimilate, this is that taupey shade that I was telling you about. So as far as the pigment goes, the pigment on these are amazing. I'll go ahead and I'll show you here. Okay. Can't see what I'm doing. So that is the Assimilate, which is the matte shade. Pretty nice there. This is gunmetal. Mm -hmm. So the shadows do come off really, really pigmented. Um, the only thing that I will say about these shadows is you do have to blend them pretty well. You can kind of see how this one's a little bit patchy. Um, if I just, you know, took a brush and I went to town on that, 
it would absolutely blend out. They are not difficult to work with, however. They, um, you know, just taking a fluffy brush, they blend right out. You don't have to, you know, like crazy work at it, just, just a little bit. Um, I wouldn't really, I guess I shouldn't really consider that a downside to them. That just happens to be the formula that they are, not super, super buttery like Kat Von D or even the Anastasia eyeshadows. Um, these do have a little bit more, like, almost stability to them. Um, so they are going to need a little bit more brush work. This is industrial. So you can really see the difference between those two shadows there. And then the Harsh Stone White, I'll be honest, can't really see it on my skin too much. Um, but it's really nice. I think it looks really nice as like a cheekbone highlight. I use it on my lip, my nose. Um, I really actually like it, that particular shade, more as a highlight than I do as an eyeshadow. But you can see that I actually have it on the inner corner as well. All in all, I just wanted to make this a really quick review on my thoughts of this eyeshadow palette here. Um, because it is coming back in stock on October 11th. 2016. I don't know if this video will be up before or after then, um, but it will be coming back and I do recommend this palette. I was hesitant to buy it because I wouldn't know, because um, I didn't know if I would use it or not, but it's actually become quite useful to me. So I do give this one a thumbs up. Price-wise, not bad. Um, the pan sizes are actually... 0.09 ounces. So it's a slight bit bigger than you would find in other eyeshadows. Um, if you haven't gotten your hands on this already and you do like it, consider putting this one into your collection. I think it's a I think it's a really good smoky eye palette or something to use in conjunction with other eyeshadows. That is my super, super quick review on the Melt Gunmetal stack. If you guys have any questions, if there was something that I forgot to answer because I'm not using notes, um, feel free to leave those down below and I will get back to you. And as always, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat at Jen Pereira, just like it's spelled down below. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can join the Apocalypse family and come back and have more fun with me. But I should probably wrap this video up and start getting ready for work. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Sugar cookies with a hint of chemical. Oh my gosh. Look at that green shift in there. And that was 